Oh, dear me. Dear me. <laughs> As the World Championships begin this week, we're looking at some of the classic Crucible shots that you may not have seen before. But as usual, we're still trying to recreate all of them as accurately as possible before playing them in the fewest possible attempts. But we're beginning in the year 2021 as Mark Selby takes on Mark Allen in the second round and faced with no real safety shot, pods the red down the cushion where the pocket's at its tightest and screws the cue ball all the way back into bulk. Even if you get really close with these shots, there's no guarantee it's actually going to enter the pocket. So two attempts and a good cue ball is an awesome result on this particular shot. Well, I can't really complain too much about my queuing on that one, and we're staying with the 2021 World Championships next, as Barry Hawkins has got this tough yellow, but not only does he manage to pot it, he also controls the cue ball around two cushions and makes a perfect cannon on a red, bringing it into play. Barry then goes on to win this frame, and then eventually win the match 10-3 against Matthew Sell. As you can see, one of the biggest difficulties I'm having with this shot is just hitting it hard enough. The yellow itself is actually quite straight, and I'm having to stun it round two cushions with a bit of right hand side to try and make it speed up. And at the same time, I'm just striking the cue ball slightly too low, so when it's coming around the angles, it's ending just above the reds, rather than cannoning into them. So if I can pot this again and make the correction, then maybe I'll have a chance. I've got the line, but have I got the pace? I've pushed it on, and with my table, that's the best I can do. More than just a classic Ronnie O'Sullivan shot next, as this was the shot of the World Championships back in 2020, as Ronnie stuns the cue ball across the table for the black in the same pocket, when he was 9-1 up against Tepchira Nu, and won this frame to win the match 10 frames to 1. Unfortunately, unlike the last few shots, I haven't instantly picked up the right angle, as I'm still struggling to get the red in the jaws of the pocket. That's the wrong pocket entirely, and that's a lot more like it. And this video is sponsored by the Rocket Method. As we've reached the World Championships, I've got a special offer for you that includes a full 30% off Ronnie O'Sullivan's Snooker Masterclass. 12 hours of coaching from Ronnie O'Sullivan himself. Just use the promo code BREAK30 and follow the link through to the website. As well as a 30% discount, everybody who subscribes before the 9th of May will be entered into a prize draw with a chance of meeting Ronnie in person. I look forward to teaching you everything I know on my ultimate snooker course. In 2022, Nopon Senkan pots this brown off the black spot and quite brilliantly arcs the cue ball around the black to release the yellow off the cushion. This allows him to go on and level the match up 4 all against John Higgins, however he eventually lose the match 13 frames to 7. It's not necessarily the arcing of the cue ball around the black that makes this shot difficult. It's the fact that you need to play it quite hard to can the yellow towards the pocket. And the extra speed makes it really difficult to judge the cannon. I keep slightly overdoing it and then underdoing it. And even when I make contact with the yellow, I don't necessarily hit it in the right direction as you need a full contact on it. And I finally got there, playing the shot pretty well in the end. Unfortunately, I've made a hairstyle mistake now, and I didn't notice I've unintentionally put two of Nopon shots together. But this exhibition shot is pretty good, even though he'd already won the frame. However, he did eventually go on to beat Sean Murphy in this match, 10 frames to 4, which is impressive. And I seem to have guessed the right angle with my first attempt, which I'm impressed with as well. Hello, it's going in. <laughs> this 2018 shot from Joe Perry is one I definitely don't remember seeing, as he manages to play the perfect cannon around two cushions and just flick the pink into play here. Unfortunately, however, he did end up losing this match 13-8 to Mark Allen.
At the speed I'm playing this shot at, it's definitely missable, but once you pot the ball, you need to get the right amount of left hand side on. It only needs a trace, otherwise you end up too far up the table. I'm struggling to judge this and get the pot at the same time, which is a little bit tricky, but I've just about got close enough and released the pink. This shot requires a lot of power, as in 2015, Judd was trying to get to the last red off the blue. He's a little bit fortunate in the way he gets it, but goes on to win the frame, but ends up losing the final by a single frame, 17-16 to Stuart Bingham. I mean the semi-final, not the final there, as this was the year that Stuart Bingham won the World Championships. Either way, this is a pretty good shot, and I'm really struggling to hit it hard enough. There's not really the pace in my table to play this unless I give it absolutely everything. And even if I get the cue ball near the right line, it's not necessarily moving hard enough. So I have to hit it at maximum power, and I've just about got a cannon here. Not perfect, but that's the best I can do. How about this for a blast from the past, as back in 2012, Ronnie O'Sullivan screams this long red into the corner pocket. Not only is it a difficult shot from under the cushion, but he manages to get the white all the way back to the top end of the table. He ended up beating Neil Robertson 13 frames to 10 in this match. This is such an unbelievably difficult shot. All I can do is whack at one and hope for the best, and I think I've been really lucky it's gone in there, although the white didn't necessarily take the right path. Next, Alex Higgins can't see enough of this red to pot it, so doubles it back into the yellow pocket. I'm not 100% sure which year this is because this clip didn't come with any information, but I'm fairly confident, judging by the plants in the background, that it's 1981. My first attempt wasn't really close, but I'm happy with that after just two. And up against that, possibly 30 years apart, we got Sean Murphy playing a standard four cushion exhibition shot on the black, and he gets it absolutely perfectly. As this is a fairly standard shot, I know I've just got to get the black somewhere near the brown spot on its way round to get close. That actually got close because I hit the white, which is an issue because I do need to get it out of the way and prevent it from blocking the pocket. The other problem I keep having is the black's jumping a little bit off the top cushion, which is changing the angle. So long as I prevent it from bouncing, I should be alright with this one in the next couple of shots. But it does ask the question, which was the cheekiest double? This one or the Alex Higgins shot? Cue the music. This one's difficult without knowing the full context of the Alex Higgins match, so I'm going to play it safe and give Sean four but Alex five, making him this week's winner. John Higgins is trying to stay in contention with Judd Trump in the 2019 final and digs this excellent long red out off the top cushion. This is a really tough pot, but John doesn't end up winning the frame and loses the final in the end by 18 frames to 9. The amount you have to strike down at the cue ball here makes this almost impossible. I really can't see where I'm hitting this red, so I'm just having to guess where the pocket is, and that was probably a lucky guess. Back in 2008, Stephen Hendry was using the jaw of the middle pocket to help him play an exhibition shot and he gets it perfectly with good position on the black. He eventually goes on to defeat Ding Jung Wee 13 frames to 7 in this match and he's already won the frame. If I'd potted my first attempt, I would have probably got quite close to this, so it's not really surprising that on my second, when I hit the pink in the middle of the pocket, that I got the jaw. Ding Jun Wee surprises everybody. Ah! Boo. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, in there. there we go. As I was That's saying, Ding Jun Wee surprises everybody back in 2019 who thinks he's playing safe, but in fact he's taking on this long plant. It doesn't help him out too much as he ends up missing the clearance and losing the frame and ends up losing the match 13 frames to 9.
I didn't realise how difficult this shot was going to be because the reds are actually a lot further apart than I first realised and they're offset a little bit more than they look, meaning it's a lot harder shot to even line up the plant correctly. But of course it's not just that, you've also got to hit the red in the right place from the other end of the table, so it's a challenge in a couple of different ways, and one that I'm just not quite getting right for a minute until I can find the right angle, which thankfully I finally have. This frame winning Alex Higgins shot from 1982 is next as Alex uses a ton of left hand side to spin the cue ball off the bolt cushion towards the pink on the side cushion and push it on perfectly to the middle pocket. Alex would eventually just about go on to win this match 13 frames to 12 and then win the entire world championships that year. The problem I've got with this shot is the left hand side on the cue ball is making it reverse to the right slightly as it goes down the table. You can slightly see it happen. I've just pushed the pink a little bit too far on that shot, but it's really difficult to get the cue ball in the right place to hit the pink like that because the cue ball keeps going too far to the right as it tracks down the table. That means I need a lot more left hand side and getting the speed and direction right on that is becoming more and more of a problem the harder I hit it. That being said I'm going to need a little bit of luck with the contact with the pink because just because I hit it as you've already seen there's no guarantee that I'm going to push the pink anywhere near the pocket. I keep tapping it and nudging it too far and in the wrong direction but I'm going to need the perfect hit at the perfect pace. That's a little bit short but it's easily cuttable back into the same pocket. We've got another Judd Trump shot right after we find Joshia, who's in Warringston, Northern Ireland, which is nicely in that gap there. On to a classic Judd Trump screw back from the 2019 final. Judd needed one more red to secure the frame and screws the cue ball all the way back into the yellow pocket just to make sure the frame is safe. To be on the safe side here I'm using the magic cue ball, although I could probably screw the cue ball back into bulk with a regular cue ball, I definitely couldn't get it far enough to make the shot work, and as the red's so close to the cushion, I don't want to have to hit it any harder than I necessarily need to, because that's just going to make the pot more and more difficult. I'm still struggling to get this in the pocket and it's still rattling loose as it is so it's not necessarily made it any easier but I definitely don't want to make it any harder. And I've got it and the cue ball's got all the way back to bulk so I can't really complain about that. Back in 2018 Mark Williams didn't appear to have any shot on but still manages to pot a red. Okay, so what's happened here is I completely forgot I was supposed to be looking for lesser scene shots and ended up finding two of the most popular shots from the last 10 years. But whatever. This is just going to be about speed and finding the right place on the bolt cushion. Mark actually hit this one quite slowly, so I've got to do exactly the same thing. And already this one looks pretty close. Well that was annoying, the wrong red went in, and I got the speed almost perfect as well. That just means we're just going to have to try again, and I've got to get the line right, and I think I have this time. It's just whether or not it's going to be hard enough. It's just half a roll short, the perfect line, there's just a little bit more pace than it would have gone in. But I think we've done a little bit better with this one, and I finally got it. No winners or losers this week, we're going to wait until the World Championships is over for that. But if you're interested in the rocket method, don't forget you can get a 30% discount by using the promo code BREAK30 and go to the website now by clicking the box. Or if you're interested in shots from the previous World Championships, have a look at these two videos. And remember, don't just watch, play, and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel. See you later.